I'm going to compare the performance of React 18.2.0, which has been with us for several years now, and React 18.3.1, which was released a few days ago. We are going to compare the performance in terms of compilation size. And then we are going to look at the network tab in Chrome browser incognito mode to see what kind of payload is sending through the wire and the load time for each application. Both of these apps are exactly alike. If you watch my 10 stack React query uh, CRUD tutorial, it's that application. The only thing difference here is different version of React ecosystem. My concern is that these library slash framework makers, anytime they come out with a new version, the size tend to go up. But fortunately, between 18.2 and 18.3.1, there's no significant increase whatsoever. So that's a good sign so far. So here we are in the browser. Again, both applications are exactly the same. On your left is React 18.2. Of course, I'm in incognito mode. Let's go ahead and expand this a little bit. Let's uh, do a hard refresh on the 18.2 app a few times. All right, take a mental note of that. Now let's go over to the 18.3.1 application and see what we have. Now, is this absolutely scientific? Of course not. But I just want to give you a sense of what's going on with these two versions. Now, now 18.3, I think it's just an appetizer for 19 that's coming out later this year or perhaps even early next year. But I think they're comparable. You know, there's no outrageous uh, time and size increase. Now let's take a look at Lighthouse scores for React 18.2. Keep in mind that the scores do not necessarily reflect the library or framework itself. It could be stuff that I haven't done to optimize the performance yet, but here we are for 18.2. So here are your scores for the React 18.3.1 app. Again, I have not optimized the application for the best Lighthouse scores, but just raw scores here. It's about the same as the 18.2. Nothing too crazy there. So are you asking yourself, is it worth it to upgrade to 18.3.1? I would say yes. I would say it is worth it to project plan this, to plan capacity to upgrade because with 19 being around the corner, you're going to save yourself a lot of pain and suffering um, when you upgrade incrementally rather than going from 18.2 to straight to 19 next year. Okay, so I hope this video was helpful to you. If it is, please consider subscribing. If you're not a subscriber, if you are a subscriber, I thank you for being a subscriber. Please give this video a thumbs up. See you next time. Bye for now.